YouTube video. I am so happy to see you guys because I really missed vlogging last weekend. The last vlog that I did was of course my weekend vlog and then the week work week of my life and then I went up to New Hampshire to go skiing. Um, I'm in a really happy mood <laughs> today for some reason and just this whole week in general. I kind of feel like it's because Monday was President's Day so that was like a holiday day off from work. And then Tuesday I actually went into the office so a couple co-workers all, and I all decided to go in on the same day and just work together in the office. So that was nice and that kind of broke up the work week. And then on Wednesday, I officially joined a gym, so I am now an Equinox member, and I actually went there this morning, so I got my morning start, started off very bright and early, and I took a class, a bar class, and then I came back, showered, got ready, and I'm about to start the work day for Friday. So all that being said, I, I think it was a really happy, in general, a really happy, nice week. Um, although, of course, there is a lot going on in the world right now. I'm sure everyone's seen the news, and so that's, you know, very, very scary to think about. And while I am happy, also, I'm, my heart has sunk a little bit just given everything that's going on in the news, in the world. So just know that, um, you know, I am acknowledging that things are going on and I I don't want to just continue forward with this vlog without pretending like nothing is happening because there's a lot happening um, so I just want to acknowledge that but um, but yeah we're gonna we're gonna do a vlog this weekend and I'm going to take you with me um, but yeah right now I'm just gonna start doing some emails <laughs> like I needed to get out of my apartment, walk around in the fresh air, in the sunlight, and so that's what I'm doing. I took my laptop with me. I'm going to find a little coffee shop to do some work in, and yeah, I decided, I realized that I hadn't pulled out this big pink fluffy coat in like two years, and I got this when Topshop was still around. It's so sad. Um, I mean, obviously Topshop is still on ASOS, but it's not the same. <laughs> um, but anyways, so yeah, so I got this big fluffy coat and my little beret, and I'm just gonna go to a little coffee shop. all the different chandelier chandeliers in there it's absolutely beautiful they just had their show at the Louvre and they had it playing in the background and lots of new styles in there and really pretty bags apparently today was the opening day <laughs> so I didn't know that I just walked by and I saw it and I asked if I could go in and look around and um, someone walked around with me and they were so 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 nice um, so yeah I guess if you're in Soho this weekend there's a cool pop-up in there at the Louis Vuitton store um, right on Main Street. <laughs> but, all right, I'm going to get to work now. <laughs> So, 
I'm about to head out now. The work day is finally done and I'm going to meet up with Lyle and we're going to have dinner. Uh, I was in the mood for a healthy dinner because <laughs> I'm trying to be healthy now. And so I suggested we go to La Botaniste because it's day of, so it's a little too late to make a reservation for, you know, a sit down restaurant. So figured something quick and they're open until nine. So I like La Botaniste, especially in the winter time. It's just really good. I will take you guys with me, of course. And I just wanted to show you my outfit for tonight. Um, after dinner, we might meet up with Lyle's friends. Actually, I saw them at the coffee shop today. I randomly ran into them. <laughs> I turned around and bam, they were right there. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna meet up with them after dinner tonight and maybe get a drink somewhere. So the outfit that I picked out for, for tonight had to be good for like more of a casual dinner but then also potentially drinks and it's also still winter time. So what I did was I got this faux leather skirt. This is just like an off-white color. It's a faux leather mini skirt from Zara. And then this is a wrap cardigan also from Zara. I love this because this to me feels very ballet style inspired just like the style that I love the most so I'm really happy about it and this necklace that I got um, when I was in Charleston over New Year's um, I got it from the Love Shack Fancy that's there and then of course the boots that I wear all the time so yeah cute little outfit I'm just going to throw on a jacket and grab my bag and Let's go have dinner. Looking for someone to show me the way when my map is torn up. Give me a light when my torch is blown out. Let me escape from my hideaway. I give up all of my little addictions, but I'm still stuck with some tough decisions. Yeah. Now I'm up against the wall. now same outfit I just decided to put this on again today because it didn't get the love that I wish that it did last night you know when you have a really cute outfit and you're like I didn't, nobody saw me in this so you want to wear it again <laughs> that's me today so I have this, the same sweater I just ran outside right now I'm gonna make pancakes for Lyle and I for breakfast I am just out of butter, so I'm running to the store really quickly just to grab some butter, maybe some blueberries or bananas to put in the pancakes as well. But yeah, last night was nice. Um, the botaniste was very good. We ended up having some wine there too, which was nice. And yeah, then we came back and watched Marvelous Miss Maisel. We didn't end up getting drinks with um, the friends that I saw at the coffee shop, but that's okay. Um, we have some fun stuff planned for tonight. We're going to a comedy show and dinner, I think. Yeah, dinner and a comedy show at this place called The Stand. They do dinner there, and then afterwards they have a show downstairs. So, yeah, we've been we've been a bunch of times and we love it there. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to this little little mini marketplace and I'm gonna grab going to make some pancakes this morning. <laughs>
now I'm doing laundry. I'm basically going back and forth between Lyle's apartment and my apartment, switching over my loads <laughs> of laundry. Just doing laundry today because I have so much to do. And then um, in between there, I'm also filming my Thursday video, which is going to be about how to dress like a fashion blogger. <laughs> so just like just different little tips and tricks. So yeah, I'm filming that in between. And I don't know, it's a nice day. I like today. Lots of people out and about. And um, by the way, if anyone watches The Marvelous Miss Maisel, the place that I'm passing right here is in the very first season when Midge comes out and she's like, we got the rub. <laughs> um, this is like the, the butcher that she goes to. Yeah, this is the butcher that they go to. Um, I think, oh yeah, they, they have a little picture in the front. So this is the exact scene that I'm talking about where she walks out all excited. This is where they filmed that. There's some adorable new arrivals for spring from Cezanne. I really like this brodery dress. It's like a long sleeve. It's really cute. And then there's this set. It's like a blazer and shorts set. It almost looks like watercolor painted florals. So that's really fun. And then this, I know there's a glare, <laughs> but this little pantsuit combo. I cannot wait for spring style and spring fashion. I just can't wait. All right, so it's nighttime now, and as you can see, my laundry is all done. We're going to go to dinner and then a comedy show. So I think I mentioned we're going to the stand, which is in the East Village, and we're going to a restaurant nearby after beforehand so I kind of had to put together an outfit that would be cozy and warm enough for the winter time but then also cute and like a little bit chic and a little bit elevated so that I feel comfortable. I found this midi skirt that I actually had in my in my drawer I didn't realize um, from Zara and when I found it I realized okay this is actually perfect. Um, all of my go-to like winter pants are currently wet and they're drying right now but then when I saw this I just felt like it was perfect so I feel like a midi length silk skirt especially in a darker color like this is a really like dark kind of chocolate brown you can really kind of dress it up or dress it down so this one happens to have like a slit a slit in it which I feel like is kind of fun and then I just paired it with a classic kind of turtleneck ribbed knit sweater and then I like doing midi skirts with sneakers I actually like doing all my most of my skirts with sneakers because it's comfortable and I feel like a white sneaker also just always makes your legs look good. So I feel like overall <laughs> anyone you know going to a comedy show I feel like this is a cute outfit inspo idea and especially anyone that's visiting New York um, good chance maybe you'll end up going to a comedy show so if you do um, some little outfit inspo but yeah we're just gonna go to dinner and I'll see you guys later. All right, actually, sorry, quick correction. It's not in the East Village, it's in Union Square. Um, so yeah, that's where the restaurant is and where the stand is, which is the comedy show. So, oh, other thing I should mention before we go is that for comedy shows, they don't let you film in there because sometimes the comedians are like testing out new material or, I mean, just in general, they don't want you filming their acts. <laughs> so yeah, so unfortunately I won't be able to like show that, but maybe afterwards, once it's all wrapped up, I can get it, I can show you a quick like scan of the room. But yeah, so I will see you guys later.
Sunday morning now. I just did a quick little session at Equinox. I had a fitment, fitness assessment this morning, which means they just basically check all of your like body measurements, like your body percentages and everything. And you can kind of set goals for yourself, which is cool. And if you do personal training, you can continually like check in on those goals. So I don't know, it seems a little pricey, so I don't know if I'm gonna do it. But the girl that I um, did this session with was super nice. Um, so yeah, so there, there, there's that. And then also today I have a hair appointment, so I actually have it in like 45 minutes. <laughs> then I was gonna go home and change really quickly. Also, really fun fact. So I don't know if you see this behind me. See where it says 100 right there? So this building is in uh, the scene in And Just Like That, the new rendition of Sex in the City. The scene where Carrie goes to, what, what was the girl who used to be married to Mr. Big? Remember how like she goes, basically shows up at her office and she's like trying to just talk to her and like have a conversation? This is where they filmed that and I remember them filming it over the summer I think it was. Yeah, it was definitely like last summer. And I remember I walked by and there was this whole camera crew set up there. <laughs> So yeah, fun fact on that corner. Oh, by the way, this is the corner of Prince Street and Crosby Street. And yeah, the Equinox is right there. I'm gonna try to see if I can get something to eat really quickly beforehand because usually when I go to these hair appointments, <laughs> I'm there for hours and if I haven't eaten beforehand, it's a big problem. <laughs> so I'm gonna see if I can eat something really quickly before and then have a hair appointment and have a lovely Sunday. <laughs> grocery haul <laughs> oh my goodness you guys in New York City in the winter time it's like the air is frigid and it just makes you cold to the bone and it just whips along the like the streets I don't know I feel like the streets almost create a wind tunnel and it just makes it that much colder but <laughs> anyways I haven't been dressing very warm lately so I kind of told myself today like next time you go back outside 
dress accordingly. So yeah, I actually wore a hat. And I realized tying, tying your scarf like this actually makes it a lot warmer. Um, I'm going to show you what I did. So, I took my scarf. And, you know, you hold it. Bring it behind you and wrap it around. Just like you would, you know, a normal scarf situation. But what you do instead is you tuck this in. And then you tuck that in. And I saw a bunch of people on Instagram mentioning to do this. And then, once they're tucked in, it's like that. And I realized that this is actually, like, it reminds me of, like, the L.L. Bean ads. Or any of those ads back in the day where their scarf used to be tied purposely like this. And you would wonder how they did that. I don't know, it's almost like it stays closer to your neck or something. And then it eventually makes you warmer. And I also belted my jacket because this is, this, I got this from Aritzia, I think. Maybe, like, two one or two winters ago I don't remember yeah I got this from Aritzia and I love it but it's open so when I walk if it's not belted it just kind of like when the wind blows it it just blows it open like this and it's very cold so I belted it and it actually helped a lot but anyways hair appointment went well she's I love the way that she styled it she did a cool thing with the brush where when she was blow drying it she like twisted the brush and it was like curling my hair with like a blow dryer is the coolest thing. So quick grocery haul. I got a grapefruit because grapefruit's good for you. It's a winter citrus and I'm gonna have this for breakfast. All you do is just cut it in half or if not for breakfast during this work week, I'll just have it for a snack. But yeah, I love grapefruit or I could just squeeze it and use the juice. But yes, one big grapefruit. I got a cauliflower so I figured that I could chop this up and put it in my salads this week or I could roast it up and have it for dinner with some like quinoa or brown rice. I got two avocados just to eat in my salads this week. Some carrots because I actually think I'm going to have this for dinner tonight. I got some micro broccoli. This is basically like a micro green so it's packed with nutrients and they're just like little sprout looking little mini micro broccoli so I'm gonna put that into my salad this week and a big 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 plain yogurt which also is going to be for breakfast this week I got a lemon which I'm going to use to make my salad dressing for my salads this week I got two limes one I was thinking if I'm not using the lemon for the salad dressing I might switch it up and do a lime flavor and then the other one is for the dinner that I'm making tonight, which is going to be a like roasted carrot and avocado. Basically, like I said, it's like a side dish, but I just like to eat it as my main thing for dinner. And you like squeeze some lime on top afterwards and it's so good. I got a big sweet potato because I figured one night for dinner I could just roast this up and probably only eat half of it at a time because it's a very it's a big one <laughs> but uh yes i got some balsamic vinegar because quite simply i was out of it and i needed some more it's a pantry staple and i use this a lot um, when i'm making salad dressings and then some pink himalayan salt also because i was just out of it and i use it a lot um for stuff and then i got these kind bar minis I wanted to get uh, just like a, something I could snack on, so I was looking in the granola bar section, and I saw that they made these miniature ones, and I love anything that's mini. I feel like it's just a quick snack during the workday. If I have just been sitting, I don't have time to make myself a whole meal, or like it's in between meals and I'm just starting to get hungry, just having something like this to grab um, makes life easier. And then I got this. I thought this was so cute. These are Good Pop Strawberry Shortcake Dairy and Gluten Free. They're only 100 calories, so I figured when I have a sweet tooth, which I know that I will, <laughs> just gonna pop one. But eat one of these, I'm gonna put them in my freezer. And lastly, I got a big thing of chopped kale because this is going to be the base for my salads. And <laughs> that is it. <laughs> All right, I've got my carrots roasting in the oven, and right now I am folding the rest of my, the, the final rest of my laundry <laughs> from yesterday. And yeah, I wanted to tell you guys also, I realized that I didn't update you yet on the ski trip. So last weekend, of course, I went skiing um, up in New Hampshire with Lyle, and 
we stayed at my family's house. So, um, yeah, that was really fun. I hadn't been skiing since I was probably like 12 or 13. So it's been a very, very long time for me, but somehow it was, once I got the hang of it, it was a little bit like riding a bike almost where I picked it up pretty quickly and I felt comfortable to go down a big mountain. Um, well, <laughs> go down like a green circle trail, like the, the easiest like green trail rather than just staying on the bunny hill the whole time. So I felt ready, which was nice. And um, I didn't vlog when I was there and I, re I actually really do regret it. I mean, part of me is glad that I took some time to just spend with my family and spend with Lyle. Um, but then the other part of me is like, I see all these other bloggers like showing these ski trips and I kind of feel like I missed the opportunity to show you guys that. Um, but at the same time, it wasn't like a luxurious trip like Vail or um, Courchevel or any of those like really nice ski places. This was just in New Hampshire where I grew up. Um, and it was just a nice little weekend. Um, my whole family is into skiing. We all, you know, grew up skiing. My brother really likes skiing. He's actually really good at it. Um, he's like a ski racer. <laughs> um, and, you know, my dad likes skiing. My mom always skied. And it was one of those things that when I was growing up there, I didn't understand <laughs> that it was that skiing was actually cool. I just felt like it's cold and my legs hurt and it wasn't enjoyable to me. So I just kind of didn't really understand why people liked it. And that was why I quit basically was because I just, I was over it. I didn't want to continue doing it. And <laughs> so then later on, fast forward 10, 15, years definitely more like 15 20 years <laughs> um now skiing is cool and i'm like okay i could have i could have made this more of a thing in my life i had just chose not to and i feel like it's interesting like whatever you grew up with um you know you i feel like a lot of people you either like fully embrace it or you go the opposite way and say this isn't what I want to do and that's the way that I went but you know it's okay you live and you learn but I really did enjoy the little ski trip um, I'll put a little clip up on the screen of, I think I took a quick couple second clip of me skiing down the mountain <laughs> and I wore this cute little um, outfit I got the ski pants from Amazon so they're just like white ski pants and I saw another girl um, one or two other girls with the same pants <laughs> and then I got a jacket off of H&M and I just wore it with like some thermal layers underneath from Uniqlo and like my leggings and then I rented my boots and my skis and yeah it's just a cute little weekend so all right so here's my dinner fresh out of the oven with the carrots so I will leave the recipe linked down below it's from Smitten Kitchen and usually it looks a little bit better if you have the tri-colored carrots, but they just had the orange ones um, at the grocery store today. And then it has avocado, lime juice, there was some cumin, olive oil, salt and pepper. So it's super, super easy. You could also put like parsley on here as well or cilantro, whatever you like. But yeah, this is a dinner that I've been making often for like years. It's technically a side dish though. I wouldn't like call it a dinner, but I just eat it as a dinner because it's really really good yeah it doesn't look like much here but trust me it's delicious <laughs> so yeah i'm just going to eat this and probably watch some tv <laughs> not going to be doing much else <laughs> tonight so I'm going to sign off the vlog here but I really really appreciate you watching especially to the end and of course don't forget to subscribe for more videos 
and check out the fashion squirrel as well over on instagram and hopefully i will see you guys next time okay bye